Hey folks, this is Vince with Dance Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly check out Flotsam. This is a game that you can currently find on Steam's early access program for about 25 bucks or so. There is a 25% discount during the Christmas New Year sale, so if you want to get it for a little bit cheaper, you totally can. Early access means that everything that you're about to see is most definitely subject to change. So in Flotsam, you're going to... Start a new game and pick three different characters, kind of like an Oxygen Not Included, where these people will typically have some kind of, like, specialty. But what's cool is that you can re-roll their skills, you can re-roll their preferences, you can even, from a drop-down, choose what you prefer to have, and then re-roll and see what you get there. I like that. I mean, it's it's typical of a survival game like this. Instead of it being underground like an oxygen not included, rather that you're on the open sea and you're going to be starting with this little boat. It's like a very tiny boat and you're going to be collecting resources in the environment by dropping buoys and other like collection markers and your people will typically swim out and, you know, collect these things. Now, there's, like, land masses as well that will contain various things. Uh, sometimes it'll be food. Sometimes it'll be, like, scavenge, like, goods and uh, metals and different things like that. All these different things that you might need to craft new buildings for your raft. Um, the whole building process is as follows. You're going to put out these, like, little ramps. I don't know what they're called, but they're, like, walkways. And typically, that's just basic plastic. And then you can sort of snap various buildings. You're going to have storage buildings, uh, a lot of dryer buildings, for example, because you need to dry the wood from the ocean that you're picking up. And then that, that wood can be used for other things. And eventually, you'll get more advanced technologies that will allow you to survive longer. Speaking of survival, there's two different things you have to really watch out for in this game, and that is food and water. And I know you start off with a lot, but every day, your people will consume food and water, so you need to really think about how you're going to get that that income in to stop that from happening. There are like solar stills that you can construct where you get water passively over time. It's not a whole lot. Um, I have like six or seven built for my uh, my group of five and still it's not enough. So um, yeah, there's that. Um, you'll be catching fish from the ocean assuming you construct a fishing dock and um, you can cook that. But uh, some of the food in this game is poisonous. Yeah, there's actually like pollution. There's a pollution mechanic. And if people get too polluted, they will stop working and have to sleep. So there's also another element to that. There's also happiness. Um, certain buildings will give a happiness bonus to your town. And if your people are unhappy, then, you know, typically, they weren't work as efficiently. So all of that is really cool. But unfortunately, it's one of those games where you will be challenged to build in the right way as fast as possible. And if you don't do that, you fail. Like it's just one of those like it, the game has a really steep difficulty curve in the very beginning, because if you don't do the things that you need to do or build the things that you need or get the materials that you need to build these things, then eventually attrition will kill you, meaning like you'll run out of food and water. Um, there is a research table where you can research new forms of food and water and, and new technologies, better buildings and the like. But again, all of this costs resources. And all of this is done via an open map. So like you'll be able to go from one point to another on this open map and you'll be able to visit different places. And that requires energy. There is a little crankshaft on your boat. So when you run out of energy, some guy has to like wind it up and give yourself more energy. It's in the upper right if you want to see like that little bar filling up there. So yeah, there's a lot of things going on in the opening. And it's one of those, again, those city builder town survival games where like you're at a severe disadvantage starting out. And unless you know what you're doing, you're going to fail. And I think that's a big problem. Um, there's no difficulty settings as far as I can tell. I didn't see a way to change the 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 speed at which people consume things. I didn't see a way to give myself more of an advantage so I can like relearn the game over time. It, none of that. So, and, and the last time I covered this game, I, I reviewed it like three years ago and it's still in early access and it still doesn't have these features. And speaking of features, um, I meant to show you more content, but I lost two hours of playthrough last night. So I ended up just rage on installing the game this one. I'm like, well, okay, I'm done with it. I'll wait until the game's actually better. I hit save last night. I kept hitting the save button and it wouldn't save. 
And I'm like, I sincerely hope that when I quit this game, because I'm not staying up all night trying to fix this, I hit save button multiple times. Uh, it just, it didn't work. And I'm like, well, if the save feature is not going to work, then why am I playing this? I mean, the whole point of a survival game is to progressively get stronger and better and grow bigger over time. And if you can't save your game and come back to it later, then what is the point? Unless you've got 12 hours to kill, you know, doing one playthrough all day, which I don't, then there's no point in me playing. So, like, that that's the biggest beef that I have with this game is I, I couldn't save my game during the game. It just it, The button wouldn't work. It wouldn't save. And then when I had to quit and come back to it this morning, like I had lost two hours of work. So it's just unfortunate that the game, since I've last touched it three years ago, still has issues. I mean, I mean, granted, Seven Days to Die has been like, what, ten, it's been 10 years in development and it's still early. It's still alpha, you know, it's just it's unfortunate that this game is taking as long as it is. But I have to, I mean, some people don't mind that. But at the same time, you know, I, I have to I have to point that out because when you're paying money for a game, you deserve to know how fast are the developers creating content for this game? What are the current issues with this game? And you know, all of these, all of that information is, you know, that will impact whether or not you buy it now. In my, in my personal recommendation is wait until they actually release this game. I, I'm not going to like, quote unquote, downvote it right now, even though that save feature really pissed me off. Um, I'm going to wait until release to see if they fix that problem. And then if they still haven't fixed that problem, then, uh, then it's going to get a downvote because there's no point in playing a game where you can't save it. You know, I'm just saying. Um, but I, overall, I love the game. I love games like this. This this is my genre. This is my jam. I, I love games like this. And I love the overall aesthetic. I love moving around the map and, and gathering resources. I love personally, like, you know, creating an engine where I generate my own resources and become self-sufficient. Once you become self-sufficient, the difficulty sort of, like, levels off and then it becomes really easy but it's again there's that initial difficulty spike that is annoying and again to that end i wish there were like difficulty settings that would give you more more time to get started and becoming more self-sufficient so the game still has a while to go there are some bugs there are some issues with it but if you don't mind playing for maybe a long period of time if you're not worried about save files not working then by all means check this game out because um it just just be warned development's still fairly slow all right well this is vince thanks for watching i'll catch you all next time take care